What's going on, YouTube? Mike Go returning with another episode of my collection, showing off some more stuff out of my personal collection, going through it for the first time in a long time, reorganizing everything, trying to take inventory of what I have. Here's what I came up with today. A pair of Fred Lynn autographed 1983 Donruss cards. These are actually uh, some pickups my dad made back when I was a little kid. And he uh, gave them to me, and I've had them in the collection ever since. Fred Lynn was a very good ball player back in the day. Next up here, I have two autograph cards from Don Money. Uh, tops and a Fleer card. These were actually acquired at a card show back in the day when I was a kid. Um, you know, now some of the big shows, they all have uh, autograph signings, but... Way back when, even the small ones had autograph signers. They'd bring in special guests and stuff back when uh, card collecting was in its heyday in the late 80s, early 90s. So, a pair of Don Money cards here. These were obtained uh, in person at the card show. I believe they were all just free signings back then. Another acquisition back then, former Philly, also known uh, very well for his managing with the Mets and uh, Nationals. Uh, Dave Johnson, Davey Johnson he's better known as. This is uh, another one that I believe was acquired at one of the card shows um, on this 1978 Topps card. So a nice, uh, a nice one to have here. Nice, cool old card. So definitely happy to have this one. Happy to find it at least. Next up, part of the 93 Phillies collection, infamous for uh, the pitch that, uh, you know, didn't really go our way. If you're a Phillies fan, Mitch Williams um, here on this 1991 Leaf card. Uh, Mitch Williams actually uh, had a pretty solid career for the Phillies. Um, he was a little aggravating to watch. He got the job done most of the time, but he was hard to trust. He certainly made things interesting. And unfortunately, kind of ran out of gas uh, towards the end of 93 and threw the pitch that Joe Carter hit over the uh, fence for a home run. So uh, still, you forgive and forget. And Mitch Williams is always stuck around Philadelphia, never hid from the media or the fans. So uh, you really do appreciate that. So happy to have this Mitch Williams. I know he doesn't sign a ton. Next up here, another member of the 93 Phillies, a part of the Phillies collection, Mickey Morandini on 92 Fleer Ultra. A uh, nice signature here that actually stuck. I did have a Kurt Schilling that it showed off in a past video that really bubbled up and uh, kind of disappeared over the years, but this is a really nice Mickey Morandini success here. Another in-person success um, that I got back in the day when I was a kid. And right here, uh, coming up next... Uh, Really nice successes, in-person successes um, from way back when, way back when I was a kid, way back before this guy was really uh, well-known, before he had done a whole lot, Mr. Tom Glavin, who is now a Hall of Fame member, obviously pitched for the Braves, a little bit for the Mets, here on 1991 Fleer Ultra, this was got... In person, the Braves back before they start reaching World Series uh, when they were bad for years actually signed a ton. They were really easy to get signing. Then they uh, kind of got good. They got a little tougher. Then they played the Phillies in 93, and they became even more difficult. But an awesome Tom Glavin card here. I should probably get this in a nice clean holder. This one's a little scuffed up, but 91 Fleer Ultra Tom Glavin autographed card, so... A very cool uh, Hall of Famer to have. And you just look back in time and go, wow, at that time you really didn't know uh, that's what you were getting into. Another uh, success here on 91 Leaf. So, cool success there from Tom Glavin. And uh, I can even look back and see when I got it. Because the old ticket stub is right here. August 31st, 1991. Section 324, row 11, seat 20, 5 bucks. That seat would cost you a little bit more nowadays. Even a discounted ticket. But Phillies Braves, August 31st, 1991. Got myself a nice uh, Tom Glavin auto. So, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Comment below. Let me know what you think. What you think of the collection so far. And uh, I'll be back with another episode shortly. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.